Bas with Talmi mm-hmm. Ahmed, you've not been a fan, in fact, of the proximity uh, uh, or the emphasis, the emphasis, I, I would say, on the relationship with the Americans. You thought during the Russian uh, invasion of Ukraine, I think you called it a course correction. Uh, but the Americans also repeatedly do uh, sort of comment on religious freedoms in India and so on. Uh, I think most Indians would then point to gun culture, racism, etc. In, in in America, and you know we've seen what's just happened recently with 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 the tragic uh, sort of shooting in, in in a school. Your last thoughts? I mean, how do how do how does a self correcting democracy get to a point where it can legitimately tell other countries to mind their own business because we are taking the steps that we need to fix our own problems on our terms? You know, overwhelmingly, nations mind their own business when it comes to the domestic scenarios in other countries. Exceptions are the United States, which has given the self the self given right to pass judgment on other countries. We know that they have been doing it for a very long time. Very few of us bother, but then they create lists of terrorist states. They create this foreign terrorist organization. They have sanctions. They call you know I mean you know, terrorism sponsored you know sponsors of terrorism state terrorism, all of that, never apply it to themselves, never apply it to the Israelis, but otherwise everyone else is easy meat. But that is not the issue before India. The issue before India is, where do we want to go? What, and in what shape do we want to go? There is, a, there is no denying anything that all my wise colleagues may say. There is no denying that there is a major project to change the idea of India on the basis of a certain alternative ideological framework. Sadly, instead of celebrating an alternative vision of India, this also involves the demonizing of one of our domestic communities. I would personally wish, exercise the freedom to have an alternative view, celebrate what you wish in regard to the past and talk about the future. But why do you need to abuse and be violent against another community? I keep on hearing, you are doing this. The Indian Muslim community has never supported the Kashmir Jihad and the Kashmir insurgency, as you pointed out just now. Not a single person from the rest of India has supported it. The Indian Muslim community is fully aware that his salvation, his or her salvation, lies in a democratic and secular India. There is no other alternative. They have no other alternative and they don't seek any other alternative. Even at the time of partition, the overwhelming majority of Indian Muslims stayed in India because this is their land. This is their people. Most of them became Muslims only in about last 200 years. They are not affiliated with any other country or with any other ideology outside the framework of India. This systematic demonizing of the Indian Muslim in order to shape the alternative ideology That is the curse of our nation today. And that is what needs to be corrected at home. And we hear the the best possible words from our top leaders. Sabka Saat, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas. The RSS chief has also said almost the same thing, that everyone is a part of India, everyone, and there will be no discrimination against anybody else. Implement it. Let it be heard by all the rank and file. Let it be heard by all your office bearers. Let us see the reality on the ground. Also instruct the security forces, behave yourself. Do not be abusive the way you are against certain others and accommodative of someone else. The Indian people, um, I mean, General Katoch, are an integral part of the nation of India. They support all the progressive measures that our country takes. We take pride in the success of our nation. And we despair when, when we see this poisonous atmosphere that has proliferated in our country. 